Our strength workout today will focus on hypertrophy training to tighten and lift our chest muscles and tone and define our back muscles. We are also gonna incorporate functional training to improve our posture. So make sure you've got your moderately heavy dumbbells and let's do this. I am pumped up for this workout and I am so excited that you are here for this one. We're not even nearly as pumped up though as we're going to be. But with that said, this workout is such a fun structure and I will tell you what, whether you love back, whether you love chest, the combo that we have and the way that we're gonna train today is going to be so much fun and the time is just gonna fly by. So let me just give you a quick overview of the structure because there is kind of a lot that goes into it, but once you kind of see the structure, it'll all make sense. So we do have a total of five rounds today. Four of them are going to be the same and the structure for that we're gonna have one essential exercise that we're gonna work for 60 seconds. After that essential exercise, you're gonna get 20 seconds to rest. Then we're gonna go into a superset of two new exercises. So with that superset, 45 seconds of work, 45 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna get 30 seconds to rest and recover. We're gonna do it all over again. We're gonna do that two times through. Our rounds are gonna be back round, chest round, back round, chest round. Round five is all of those essential exercises coming back together for one final big Bang, we're gonna work for 60 seconds, rest for 15. We are gonna be working moderately heavy, so challenge yourself with your weight today. I'm actually gonna add on my um, my wrist weights for this. This is just a little extra weight, but it makes such a huge difference because I'm really working on building up my muscles for chest and back, so I know that's gonna help me a ton. So if you have those and you wanna add them, add them on here after the warm up. But let's go ahead and get into our warm ups so we can get this fun training session today started. We're gonna start with just open and close, arms across. Breathing. Now, if you don't know this already, back is so hard for me. It's one of the hardest muscle groups for me to train. I don't know why. I just have a hard time getting excited about it. I love chest though, but with this structure, I know it's gonna be so fun. It's just things are gonna just be moving, having fun the whole time. We're gonna go into arm circles in three, two, and one. Big arm circles back. We're also gonna use our weights for this warm up round, just light weights if you'd like. We're gonna go down for push-ups, so we won't need them there unless you're kind of using those to keep those wrists straight. But then we're gonna use them for kneeling rows. Let's take it forward. Good, let's walk our way over. If you wanna use those light weights, go ahead and grab them. I'm gonna use 10 pounds for that. Just setting these down off to the side for now. We're gonna finish up walking it down for push-ups now. So let's take it up, reach to the sky, start walking it out. Now knees or toes for your push-ups here. And let's begin. So count your own push-ups here. We're not gonna do too many, but I just want you to start warming up the chest muscles, warming up the core, thinking about your form and your breathing. Let's do three, and then we're gonna go to kneeling rows. Count your last two, and then final one. Now when you get through those sets, Grab your weights, kneeling rows here, dumbbells underneath your hands, and we're just gonna row, squeeze it up. Good, and squeeze. Just taking that time, really think about squeezing shoulder blades around spine. Now, if you don't have weights, again, you don't need them, but I really want you to think about those muscles starting to activate. Good, and breathing. Now, really gonna be focused on chest and back, but you are also going to feel those arms come into play, working as secondary muscles as well today too. One more each side, and then let's get ready for round one. Good, all right, we're gonna bring it up for round one. Now, if you like to do single arm bent over rows with your box or your chair, feel free to use that and grab it. If not, we're gonna grab that weight for our, um, Single arm row, we're gonna do single arm row on one side, single arm row on the other side, that's that essential round. And then we're gonna switch it up to a superset reverse grip row into scapular retractors. So just have your weights ready. If you wanna use those wrist weights, grab those, let's put those on and let's do this. Hey, one quick thing before we get into this workout that I just wanna mention in case you have low back issues or you find that training back starts to bother your low back with this bent over position, have a chair, an exercise box, or a bench nearby, and I'm gonna give you some modifications on screen for some of the back exercises that you can do fully seated. That's gonna help prevent any fatigue in your low back and core that may occur during those exercises. And with that, have that nearby and look for those modifications. All right, so starting on whichever side you'd like first, but just that single arm bent over row, shoulders rolled down and back, 
hinge at the hips, and let's begin. Take your time all the way down, squeeze it, hold it, get that contraction, and then down. Now here from really the top of your head all the way down to your bum, think about making a straight line. So you don't wanna be arching or rounding. Now with this bent over row, you know we get a little bit of work here in the hamstrings with this bent over position, which is why sometimes it is nice to use a box or a chair, use a little bit of support that kind of takes that out of the legs. And we really have to think about keeping that core nice and tight here to protect that low back. Good, so we are gonna get just a quick break. This is a super set as well because we're switching sides. So this first round through, this essential is gonna be a super set. Just switching over, here's three, two, and one. Switch it over, other side. Single arm bent over row, and let's go. 60 on the clock. Remember, exhale, hold. Good, we're halfway. Keep rowing, keep that form, keep that focus. Now with these wrist weights, my wrist weights only weigh one pound each, so it's not much weight, but it's going to make a huge difference. And it's gonna help me bump up my moderately heavy weight and my heavy weight. So again, when we're training, the goal is to always work on that progressive old overload, always challenging your body with something new. Last three, two, and a one. 20 seconds now. Now we go into that first round superset. Reverse grip row to scapular retractor. So I'm gonna grab two different sets of weights for this one. Getting ready, reverse grip row first. Going in three. Here's two and one. Let's row. Squeeze again, hold it at the top for a second. Only 45 seconds of work this time. And I'll tell you, that 15 seconds is gonna make a big difference. Woo. Now, if you need to give those legs a little bit of a break, just feel free to stand up for a second, then bring it back down and get right back into it. We're gonna get ready, so if you're gonna switch up your weights, We'll just have a quick second to do that, then get right into scapular retractors. Three, two, one. Good. Small move with the scap retractors, okay? So just down. Think about squeezing shoulder blades around spine. Stick that chest out. There it is. And down. Good. So hold it at the top for a second. This really helps improve that posture. It's one of those exercises where it's a little move, big burn type of deal, you know? Oh, the legs, even feeling it. Almost there. We get 30 seconds after this. Here it is, three, two, and a one. Breathing, all right. Repeating round one. So same thing, that essential, right, or whatever row, single arm row to single arm row. We're gonna superset that one just because we have, we're working unilaterally, then reverse grip row to scap retractors. So if you need to make any adjustments to your weight, perfect time, we've got 10 seconds. Grab that weight for single arm row. Remember, if you wanna use your boxer chair for a little bit of extra support, do that. Roll those shoulders back, get that good posture right here. Hinge it, and let's go, 60 on. Squeeze. Keep that arm close to your body all the way down. Squeeze all the way up.
Now with my row right now, I'm kind of taking a wider base here. You can always take one leg out and one leg back and balance that way, whichever allows you to keep your form, whichever kind of feels good in that moment, I might work back and forth between the two. Almost there, we're gonna switch sides. Here's three, two, and one. Let's just shake it out for a second and switch it up. 60 on, here we go. What's really most important about your form here though, again, is keeping that body long and strong. So think about sticking your chest out, sticking it to the ground right here, press it out there. That helps to straighten that back. So this is what we don't want. We don't want the shoulders creeping up towards the ears. We don't want to round in. Again, we're working on posture today. So think about that. When we're lifting to get strong, we got to keep that strong posture so that our body can mimic that in everyday life. And when you start to think about your posture here in your training, it'll almost become second nature to think about it just in everyday life. Almost there. This is three, two, and one. Shake it out, rest it out. Now again, if we're in those sets and you need to take a break, do it. Stand up, give your legs a little shake, and then get right back into it. We're getting ready, reverse grip row, superset scapula retractors. So grab your weight for reverse grip. Shoulders rolled down and back, it's 45 on. Here we go. Now, if you also start to get tired in this lift, alternate sides. And then when you're ready to go back to both arms, do that. So lift right, then lift left. You may also find you need to adjust your weight up or down during a set. Also, totally fine. Always remember, I'm here to just guide you with focused training. But you make these workouts work for you in whatever you might need to do. Gap retractors here in three, two, one. Remember, little move. Start with that good posture. Here we go. Really think about holding it at the top for a second. Last back exercise here before we move on to that chest round. I'm starting to think maybe I have such a trouble with back because really and truly, we got the core, we got the leg, it's all, it is like, it is a tough one. Here it is, three, two, one, breathe, all right. So we're gonna get a little bit of a longer break now in between rounds, 45 seconds. We're moving on to chest. The essential exercise for chest is chest press. We're gonna superset that with a push up and a pullover. So obviously we'll need weights for one of those exercises. Let's grab those heavy weights for chest press. When you get to the pullover, you can use one or two dumbbells. And then if you find that push ups bother your wrist, Using dumbbells under can also can actually help straighten the wrist, take that strain off of the wrist. Just FYI, I'm gonna go here with my essential. All right, so chest press first, 60 on, 60 seconds of work. Here we go. Drive those shoulder blades into the mat. You can get a little arch here in your back. That'll actually give you some more leverage, more power to push. Good and breathe. Exhale as you press up. Where's your armpit egg? Crack that thing open. Right here, squeeze, crack that egg, squeeze. Whew. Good, get just a little extra extension right here as you press. 
Do you feel that word deeper into the chest when you think about cracking that egg, when you think about just reaching that full extension? It's like the chest muscles liven right up and they're like, oh, yep, here I am. We're getting ready for that superset. Remember, you get a nice 20 seconds to rest. Plus three, two, oh, one, good. All right, so switching it over, push ups. We got 10 seconds. So knees or toes, whichever allows you to keep your form. If we're knees or toe in it, we are trying to go all the way down to all the way up. You can also do this on a box if you want to do an elevated push up, which will help you work on the toes. 45 off, here we go, push ups. Yes, just as a little side note, whenever you're doing push ups, if you find you're really having a hard time training on the toes on the ground here, doing an elevated push up, meaning you've got your hands up on a couch, a chair, your box, a bench, that will actually help you build and increase that strength so you can work push ups on your toes. Another thing, keep that body long and strong. So think about making that nice, Plank position with your body. Tighten up the legs, tighten up the glutes. That gives you some more leverage in that push-up. We're gonna get ready to switch it over to a pullover. Last three, two, one. Woo. Into pullover right away. Here we go. Pullover is one of my favorite exercises just working so much. We've got the chest, we've got the triceps, the lats, the core. It is just one of those amazing compound exercises that I really think works wonders in our training to accomplish building that strength and definition. And again, just so good for that functional training. Yes, we are training to build those strong, bodies, but those strong bodies are gonna help us make everyday life tasks easier. So don't forget that. That is such a huge bonus. Last three, two, and one. Oh, wow. All right, breathing. We're gonna do that one more time through. We got 30 seconds. Well, we've got 15 seconds left now. We're gonna go back to that essential, the chest press. So make sure you've got that heavy weight. And let's get ready. Let's roll it back. Five seconds out. Chest press. We got three. We've got two. And we go. Here it is. Think about punching the ceiling. Take a little peek at your wrist. Make sure those wrists are staying straight. And to do that, that means you're, you are not over gripping the, the dumbbell bar there. You have got that weight kind of towards the heel of your hand. Thumb is wrapping around to keep things balanced, but again, not over gripping, and then fingers just wrap gently around to hold that dumbbell in place. We're getting that full extension. Really reach up, punch the ceiling. Good, almost there. We'll get 20 seconds to rest and flip it over for our push-ups. This is three, two, and one. Oh. All right, push-up time. Keeping that weight close or the weights close for that pullover. Back into push-up position, body long and strong, knees or toes or elevated, whatever you got, whatever works best for you. And 45 on, let's do it. Exhale as you press up. Why is it if we're working our chest, do I say, think about squeezing those legs, think about squeezing the glutes, keep that belly button engaged. Why do I say that? That's because a push up is still working more than just the chest. We do have the core activating arms as well, but when that body is nice and long and strong, I like to compare it to carrying a sleeping child who is not helping you carry them compared to a child that's awake that's kind of holding on, helping you a little bit. It just makes that push up so much easier. Last three, two, one, right over, pull over. 
and grab that weight. Let's go, take your time, drop it down. Pull and exhale, tighten up that core as you pull. Stopping those arms so they're about perpendicular to the ceiling so you don't need to pull that dumbbell all the way back into your belly button. Okay, so just about perpendicular there. Last exercise in round two, how could that be? I told you I was pumped for this one. I knew this workout was gonna fly by. Last three, two, one. It wasn't gonna be easy, but but, all right, we're gonna bring it back up. Now, round three, back to back. So let's bring it up, getting ready for round three, which that essential is gonna be a close grip row. With a close grip row, you have the option to go with one heavier dumbbell or two dumbbells keeping those pinned together. Then a wide row, then onto the ground for renegade row. So, you know, have your weights nearby. We've got 15 seconds and we go. I like to use one dumbbell for that close grip row. So I'm gonna grab my weight here. Let's get ready, close grip row. I like to clasp my fingers like this when I have one. 40 or 60 seconds on, here we go. Now this one, bring that weight right up to your body. Hold it there. Overstay your welcome. Squeeze shoulder blades around the spine and then as you're squeezing, Think about sticking that chest out. That's gonna help you work deeper into the back. Full range here. So arms come straight down. Then we row straight up, squeeze. Weight stays back in the heels. Drive that bum to the wall behind you. Keep that good posture. Almost there, we'll get 20 seconds of rest, then get ready for that super set. Here it is, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, wide row. I actually need to, I didn't even think about grabbing my lighter weights. I bop it all the way down to a 10 for my wide row. This one's tough for me. So wide row, right into renegade row. Renegade row, knees or toes, whatever you wanna work there. Let's bring it down and wide row. Woo. You feel that, squeeze it. So arms coming out nice and wide. Still thinking about squeezing shoulder blades around spine though. Wow, this is, I can feel every muscle in the back right now. Oh, all the way down that spine. This is getting good. Oh, almost there, renegade row next. Last three, two, one. All right, so again, you have the option knees or toes here. Body long and strong. Legs out in a little bit of a wider position and we're rowing. Don't lose that form, keep that body long. We're almost there. Here we go, three, two, and a one. Whew. Wow, we got it going on today between the arms working and the core coming in. Whew. Bringing it back up. We repeat from essential to superset, close grip row to start out. Wow, all right. Let's get our weight, let's get ready. Close grip row, one or two dumbbells. Remember, whichever works for you. 
And let's go, 60 on. that chest out, knee shoulder blades around spine. You want to hold that up at the top there for a second to really allow those muscles to work. We got to give them a chance, which means that's why we say get that full range of motion. Hold that contraction for just a second. Overstay your welcome. Get uncomfy. When we step out of that comfort zone, Woo. Hello, new world. All those things open up and you will just amaze yourself. Because I know, I like to stay comfy. I get it. Last three, two, and one. But that's what I want to encourage you. I always like to say, we're getting stronger in here to be stronger out there. So step out of that comfort zone in here. Start practicing that so you can do that in all the other things in life out there. Super set time. What do we got? Wide row, renegade row. Grab your weights for wide. Shoulders roll down and back. And here we go. Throw it up, squeeze. That's something we should talk about, hey? What is that one thing out in life right now, not related to fitness? Well, maybe it is, but not during our workouts. That is uncomfortable for you to do. You don't wanna do it. You know you should do it. You're like, I've, I've been saying I need to do this, but I haven't yet. What is that one thing that makes you uncomfortable? Think about it this week. Take one baby step for it. Just take one baby step. You know how to get uncomfortable. We're uncomfortable right now, okay? In the best way, because we're getting strong. Last three, two, and one. So I want you to think about that. I want to be that friend that's like, hey, let's go for it. I know you got it. You just got to do it. Renegade row. Here we go. Squeeze. So that is my challenge to you this week. I'm going to think about what I need to do too. And we're going to go for it. Don't let anything hold you back. Don't let that fear stop you. If you never know, or if you don't ever go for it, you're never going to know. Squeeze that belly button, tighten up those legs. Get that row, get that hold. Almost there. We got time, one more. This is three, two, one. Dripping, pouring sweat on an upper body day. You gotta be kidding. All right. Breathing, we just made it through round three, which means we have two rounds left. And guess what, round five is a quick one. All right, so we're just working round four. Second chance here for chest. Essential exercise is going to be chest flies. Superset is going to be close grip chest press to reverse grip chest press. So let's keep it on the mat, because we got chest flies. Grabbing those moderately heavy weights, challenge yourself here. Let's bring it down, chest flies. Here we go, and 60 seconds. Open it up and squeeze. Now let me just say, essential, as we're doing this essential exercise, this doesn't mean this is a better exercise than one or the other for chest. It's just kind of that, that staple in the chest family of exercises. So that's why I'm calling it the essential because we really do need it to build those strong muscles. Whew. And then we get the super set where we're working even deeper into those muscles, which is starting to work that hypertrophy. And hypertrophy is just that muscular shape that we're building. So that's where we're really defining and sculpting those muscles, which is what gives you that lean look. But then also with that strength, you know, it's not all about the look. It's all about life, okay? Making life easier. And that's what we're doing with this muscle build right here. Last three, two, and one. All right, close grip chest press now. That's where palms are together, arms stay nice and close to our body. Then we're gonna switch that grip and we're gonna do a reverse grip chest press. 
So let's get ready. Close grip, chest press in three, two, and one. Here we go. Press it up. Down nice and slow. Keep those arms squeezing around your body. Drive those shoulder blades into the mat here. Still, you can have an arch in your back when we're working these chest exercises. Just to give yourself a little bit more leverage with that heavier weight we're using. Woo. Now this exercise, triceps come in as a secondary muscle here. That's the back of the arm. So if you feel those arms starting to liven up, that's why. Getting ready for reverse grip here. Three, two, one. Reverse grip, simply switch your position. Palms face you now towards your head. We're gonna take those arms down. Arms still fairly close to the body, but they do come out at a slight angle. So not as close as that close grip chest press, but not out super wide either. So again, just a slight angle on those arms as they come down and up, but this, works those chest muscles just a bit different than our regular chest press with this hand position switch. So again, just adding some variety because we really want to target those muscles in all the ways that they might move in everyday life. And again, this is awesome for helping perk up those chest muscles there, tighten things up in the chest. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. Oh, wow, that was a round, I will tell you. We got 20 seconds left. We're gonna go back into those nice chest flies, then that super set combo again. Let's grab our weight. I was about to just lay down. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, we gotta move it. Chest flies, grab your weights, roll it back. We go in five, here's three, two, and let's do it. Exhale as you squeeze up. Now, for myself, I like to think about taking and just tapping the ends of my dumbbells closest to my pinkies here together. And the reason I do that is because that slight little twist here of the pinkies or that slight twist in really helps me to think about contracting just a little bit more, getting that full extension, really cracking that armpit egg. But whatever works best for you, just make sure you're thinking about those muscles, working deep in, holding it, squeezing it, really getting that press. Almost there. We're about 15 seconds out. Quick 20 seconds before that superset, final superset for chest. Here it is, three, two, one. All right. Moving back into close grip to reverse grip chest press. So roll it on back, 10 seconds out, narrow press first. Palms face each other. Think about those arms squeezing around your body. We go in three, two, and a one. Exhale as you press up. Remember, squeeze those arms. Take your time, squeeze. Feel that squeeze all the way down, all the way up. I like to let my arms come and touch the ground so that I know I'm staying consistent in my range of motion there. And then as you press back up, punch the ceiling, arms straight. Wow, getting a tricep burnout too. Here we are, oh my goodness, getting ready. Ooh, reverse grip. Last three, two, one. I gotta adjust my weights or I know that's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> All right, reverse grip. Let's do it, here we go. Now remember, reverse grip, just a slight angle out. Not super wide because we do wanna keep those palms facing towards our head. Oof. Wrists are straight, take a little peek at your wrists. Again, that really makes a difference on where you're holding that dumbbell in your hand. So if you're too far back, that means those uh, dumbbells are gonna be closer towards your knuckles. You wanna roll them down, roll those wrists. I just say this because your wrists might tend to bother you if you're holding that dumbbell in the wrong place, which can really be frustrating and prevent you from going heavy enough. So again, 
I just want to make sure that you are getting the most out of our training when we show up together. Oh, here it is. How is this? Three, two, one. We have made it to round five. This feels so exciting. This is round five. This is all those essentials coming together. All right, so we're gonna take it back to that first essential, which is that single arm bent over row. Single arm bent over row. We're gonna hit the chest press, close grip row, then chest flies. 60 on 15 reps. It's gonna go quick. So let's grab our weight for that single arm row. Go heavy here. Let's challenge ourselves. We got 10 seconds out. Now again, if you wanna use your boxer chair for a little extra support, go for that. Let's get ready, hinge it over, back flat, core engaged, shoulders rolled back, and 60 on single arm row. This is that last final round to just hit it all one more time through. So remember, we're practicing, getting out of that comfort zone, so push it here, push it now. Don't forget to breathe, get that exhale in. So we're gonna get 15 seconds to switch it over. Here we are, three, two, and a one. All right, switch it over, other side, we go in 10. All right. All right, breathing, we go in three, two, and one, let's row. So hold it at the top, hold it up there, squeeze, good. Good, you got halfway already. 30 more seconds, last time for this exercise, so let's work it. Whew. We're gonna move it on to chest next. We're gonna bring it down for chest press. So we're gonna have 15 seconds, it's gonna move quick. We're gonna have to grab that weight and get down there. Here we are, three, two, one, bringing it right down. All right, chest press, roll it back. Here we go, five seconds out. Check that dumbbell weight, make sure it's resting properly in your hand to keep those wrists straight. And let's begin. Halfway. Take a little inventory right here, those chest muscles. Really think about working them. Remember, squeeze that egg all the way up. I, I don't know about you, but I can actually feel the heat on my chest muscles right now, which sounds really funky and weird, but sometimes we go a little TMI over here. That's fine. We're working together. Last three. Two, and one. Oh my word. All right, bringing it up. We have got that close grip row, so just one dumbbell. Ooh. And yes, I'm gonna try to stick with this weight, even though everything in me wants to be like, no, just get the baby weight. We're not, we're sticking it. All right, 60 seconds. Last time for back, here we go. Squeeze. I gotta know. What are you proud of yourself on this week? What did you accomplish? Actually, not even the week, just in this workout. There's something you did in this workout that you were like, I didn't think I could do it, but I did it. So what was it? 
Let me know in the comments, because right now I gotta tell you, it's the fact that I did not go down in my weight for back today. I kind of had that set in my head. I said, we're going for it today. So what is that one little thing that you did in this workout that you were like, yes, I did it. I'm so glad I did that. And hey, guess what? We got one more exercise. So if you haven't noticed anything yet, this last exercise, maybe you go up in, maybe you're just like, I'm just getting to the end of this workout. That's what I'm proud of. I am proud of you for that too, because this was, it was fun, but it was tough. Very focused today in our training. Last three, two, one. All right, finishing out, chest flies. Let's bring it down. All right, here's three, two, and one. Chest flies to finish. Wow. Get that squeeze. seconds left. Keep it strong. And remember, what's that one thing that you're going to do this week to step out of your comfort zone? Hey, you can let me know in the comments. I'm going to think about mine too. I really want to work on that. Last three, two, and one. Oh my word. All right. You let me know what you're proud of. What did you accomplish during this workout? Again, maybe it was just showing uh, maybe you went heavier on an exercise than you thought you could. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for being here. And hey, here's one little extra oomph if you want to finish out with your arms and shoulders. I have got a quick arms and shoulders finisher to complete this training today. I love you. Thank you for being here with me. You are the absolute bomb. I love you.